Beards in this house. There's some beards in this house. There's some be Hey, what's up? <laughs> Just got out of the shower, y'all. I'm hanging here with my wab, my wet ass beard. <laughs> hey, y'all. Thanks for coming back. I got a lot of good feedback from the kickoff episode of uh, Idaho Brews and Beards with me, Rudnick Dawn. A lot of y'all. There's some nice sons of bitches, I tell you what. And there's some of you that are window lickers, but you know, we do need people in this world saying, hey, sir, do you want fries with that? Well, yes, I do. Make them curly. Okay. Speaking of curly, we're going to walk on into the beard part of the bruising beards. Mm hmm we are. So we're going to go back to the very first beard balm. The hell, the very first beard product I ever tried. I was one of those guys that like, Beard balm, beer oil, what the hell for? Why? Why do I need to put something on my beard? My beard's just fine. <laughs> little did I know, America. Little did I know. There I was in this little hippy-dippy place, a little hippy-dippy store, okay? And normally I don't go into hippy-dippy stores, but this place, oh God, y'all, it's got the best beer selection, all right? The best, and the beer we're going to be talking about today, actually, I got from my store. But it's got the best beer selection I've ever seen in this area. And I go down another aisle, and I see beer products. I'm like, well, I'll take a look. I'll take a look. And I saw this can. Take a look at that. Look at that little dude right there. Cruising around, a little old crank, hand crank, little skeleton dude with a straight edge holding a bottle of shine. All right, and a nice fucking beard on him. Okay. So I picked it up. I took a look at it. Come to find out, it comes from a town called Boise, which is about eight hours away from me. I'm down there from time to time for work. Uh, too flatland, too hot, too nasty, too many Californians down there for my liking. But, you know, <laughs> they actually put out a damn good beard product. All right. And this is from, like I said, the Boise Beardsmith. All right. This is a uh, the bootleg brand. Okay. Or excuse me, the bootleg blend. It's tobacco and whiskey. Now, they don't call it beard bomb. They call it beard grease. Now, you can tell I use it quite often. It smells, it smells incredible. I mean, it truly does. Um, it's it's unlike anything I've ever found since. Now, they give you directions on the back of a lot, a lot of these things, too, but a lot of it is just trial and error. I mean, it truly is. Um, now, they call it beard grease because it's, I mean, it, it's greasy. <laughs> um, and that's what's good about it, to be honest. I mean, look, it looks like somebody sneezing in your hand. I mean, it's, it's, it's easy to manipulate. It's like you, 16 years old on your first date, you know, I mean, you're real easy to manipulate. <laughs> but you just rub in your hand. You just work it through your beard. Now, I've been getting these tangles down here, here lately, and it's been hurting. I go brush and it fucking hurts. So I'm paying real good attention to that. But no, you just run that through there, and then you, then you style as usual. You know, I, I take my wood comb, comb it all through like that. All right, and then take my brush. And I'm fucking ready to roll, you know what I mean? Now, in addition to make damn fine beard grease, they are a full-service barbershop. They're an award-winning barbershop down in Boise, Idaho. Something you don't see too often nowadays, and that's the hot towel straight razor shave. Now, uh, you know, yeah, that might work, but I ain't, no, no. I said they've won Treasure Valley's best four years in a fucking row. Four years in a row. Believe it or not, the idea for the Boise Beardsmith came from a woman. Mm -hmm. The name is Wendy Rose. And she started because she had a lifelong love for beards, facial hair. Mm -hmm. And you know, you all, men, you find you a woman that loves facial hair, gonna put a ring on it. But Wendy Rose and her friend Jeff Summers started the Boise Beardsmith. And y'all, the rest, the rest is bearded history. Wendy was working the corporate life for so long and she said, you know what, fuck you, cubicle, I'm gonna do my own thing. Deuces, let's burn this mother trucker down, pookie. She went to barber school and got to play with hair all day. Some of the techniques that she's employed since learning how to do what she do, <sighs> shit fire save matches. Now they got about five different types scents of their beard grease. I've tried them all. They're by far their most popular one is the haymaker, but my favorite is, is the bootleg. I'm, I'm just like that whiskey and tobacco, you know, it's, it's just kind of, it's mellow, you know what I mean? And that's the thing about it, it is a very mellow scent. It's not overpowering. If you get pulled over by the police, they're not going to think, oh, sir, you've been drinking? No, no, they're going to think, hmm, damn, I wish the force would allow me to grow a beard. Oh, y'all, I highly recommend this beard grease. You can get it. If you can't find the store, all you got to do is go to thebeardsmith.com. 
place your order. They'll send it to you. They'll send it anywhere on this fucking planet. They'll send you some. And like I said, I completely, 100% back the product. I think it's a great product. And, you know, it's, it's one that I, I constantly keep in my rotation. Because it's, like I said, it takes me back to my very first. You always remember your first. You do. <laughs> All right, y'all. Now, here comes my second favorite part of the show, if you will. That's the beer part. Oh, God. Y'all know I, I go cuckoo over good beer. So, this week, we're going to the Fort George Brewery. Well, in our minds, anyway. Remember that TV show, of Magic School Bus? Come on, the Magic School Bus. Let's go get some damn beer. Now we took a little Magic School Bus on over to the Fort George Brewery. Let, let's, let's learn a little bit about this place. Now, Fort George Brewery is in a little town called Astoria, Oregon. Goonies never say die! That's right. That's where the Goonies house is. And I've seen it a couple times because I've been to this brewery. Hell, I'm actually getting ready to head that way here in about a week or so myself back to the Astoria area. Because it's beautiful area. The coast is fucking rugged and awesome. Sexy, beautiful. The food is phenomenal. If you're a seafood junkie and I'm going to eat me a fucking chunk of seafood... And the beer, y'all, the beers from over there are great. I'm going to check out a couple of new brewers I haven't been to yet and bring home some goodies. But, like I said, one of the breweries there is the Fort George Brewery. Now, this brewery opened up in March of 2007. It's been a few years. Now, the very first time I went to this brewery was right after the election. Uh-huh. When old President Trump beat out old Pantsu Clinton. Now, those of you that don't know, the west side of Washington, the west side of Oregon, um, is pretty, pretty liberal. And the story is in the west side of Oregon. It's along the coast. And it's it's pretty liberal. And I'm anything but liberal, y'all. I, But uh, I bit my tongue quite a bit because I wanted to be able to enjoy the environment, um, have a good cold beer. And, I mean, just because those folks don't know how to vote doesn't mean they can't make a damn good beer. And they make a damn good beer. Went there, got a beer, got one of their cool growlers. Um, oh, it's a neat fucking growler. And got some food, and it, it was a great experience, y'all. And then, and then some people showed up next to us, and they started running their mouths about shit. And, and you know, I said, honey, we getting the fuck up out of here. Hey, let's get to the beer. <laughs> the beer this week is a Fort George Farmer's Annuary. Yeah. See, a lot of times, I don't know a whole lot about the beer or the brewery. But the can, the artwork, and the names of, of the beers of the breweries usually kind of pull me in to pull a lot of people into. And this one, I mean, come on. I mean, really, come on. How can you not? How can you not get a beer like that? And it's an IPA. It's running 7.3% alcohol, all right, and it's a pint can. Now, both of these craft breweries, they do seasonals, and this is one of their seasonal brews. They may or may not have it back next year. They, they collaborate with different purveyors. Um, and the purveyors that this one came from was with limited edition beers in collaboration with Crosby Hops is who they, they got this from. Let's crack this on bitch open. Now there she is in all of her beautiful bubbly goodness. <laughs> but yeah, look at that. Oh. Now I get a I get a nice citrusy smell to it. Yeah, very they say tangerine. I get a little bit of tangerine. Mm. Now flavor, they say it's you get like a resin taste to begin with. Not so much. I get the cedar. They say there's a cedar coming up on the backside. They say there's an apricot. I don't get a whole lot of apricot, but I get the grapefruit that they're that they're talking about. I mean, that's a good beer. That's a good beer. That says midsummer. That, that's actually really fucking refreshing. Now, if you want to check them out, their website is fortgeorgebrewery.com. And if you're ever out in the Astoria, Oregon area, there's tons of little towns all up along the coast. A lot of cool things to see. A lot of good food to eat. A lot of good little tiny breweries, y'all. Um, and like I said, you go to Astoria, you guys see the Goonies house. The people that bought the house now are assholes. All right, they bought the fucking Goonies house. They wrapped it in goddamn blue tarps and got a big old sign saying, Don't come over, don't come over. First time I went there, the folks owned it. They were like, yeah, that's cool, man. We know we bought history. We bought the fucking Goonies house. Can you take a picture, you know? They had certain hours and certain days a week and come actually walk the driveway and take a look. And then they sold it. And then some stupid sons of bitches bought it. And, <laughs> well, they're assholes. They're haters, you know what I mean? You can't buy the fucking Goonies house and not expect people to come up there and see the goddamn Goonies. You, you, you can't. You cannot do that. 
but they are, and they wrap in a fucking blue tarp. I said, y'all, I'm getting ready to head back to that part of the country. And uh, I'm going to bring home some goodies. I am. I'm going to drink a lot of goodies. I'm going to eat a lot of goodies. I'm going to bring home a lot of goodies, too. We're going to check out a, a place called the Old Depot Bay Brewery. Um, it's one I have not been to yet. And uh, I'm going to go up to Rogue and check out a few others in that area, uh, time permitting. I got to wear a fucking mask because the governor over there is a fucking idiot. But there's things that, you know, you got to do what you got to do to do what you want to do. And uh, to have damn good beer and to see beautiful scenery, I'll wear a goddamn mask, even though it doesn't work. But yeah, this week, a wrap up what we did. We talked about the Boise Beardsmith. All right, nice, uh, the beard grease, the bootleg blend. Uh, definitely check them out on social media and, and uh, the interweb. And then the beer was, was Fort George Brewery uh, Farmer's Annuary because it's got a cool fucking can. <laughs> I like cans, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> what man don't like cans? Figure out what we're gonna talk about next week. You know, who knows, who knows. And if you have suggestions or options, find me on Instagram. Link's right there. Or uh, leave me a comment here in the video of different beer products you might want me to check out and try. Uh, different beers you want me to try and find and try. Um, I'm, I'm down to clown, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so here it is in closing. Keep that beard growing. Keep that beard flowing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and be kind to women. Be kind to children. Be kind to the elderly and be kind to animals. Because that is the right thing to do. <sighs> beard on, brothers and sisters.